Here's a movie. I'm going to start right here. This is uh, getting on to 27 southbound. And uh, to the beginning. What we're going to see, I wanted to point out a couple things. You can see this spike right here. This is the moment where I snap the throttle shut. And as it's coasting, it, it leans out, which is fine. It's very hard to follow the the, um, the movie without the RPM if you haven't driven there. But you will notice in the instance that the bike is under load, it will lean out to around 11. When it's driving consistently with very little throttle, it's in a nice position, sitting right over here. We see this nice straightaway. And we're going to look. Right here is when I lay into the gas. At this point, the RPM cuts out. Needle drops down to about 11, getting towards the main jet. Very rich. And then I let go. Returns back up to 13. And this is the theme that you're going to see over and over uh, throughout these videos until I make the adjustments is, is these uh, conditions here. Right here again you can see this is the exact moment the throttle gets uh, let go of. It's coasting right now and then I give it a little gas, snap it shut, boom. Here's another area. This is uh, coasting down that hill in Mineola. Giving a little gas here and there. But every time you, you see it drop really rich, that's the moment where I where I laid on it. I do have the, um, the uh, accelerator pump shut off. It is not affecting this. This is a slow roll. The throttle, the throttle snaps are quick, but, but the roll-ons are very slow. Once again, the RPM would have been very handy. This is obviously coasting. And then give it gas. This right here is either, either coasting with very little gas being given. Generally downhills, what you see here. I have a, a another session that shows that really big uphill and there we saw where I laid in on it as the RPM shot up. Got really lean. Really rich, sorry. But the uh, the jets will be changed tomorrow. There's an acceleration right there. Really deep. I think my peg caught it here at, at just above 10, 10 to 1. 11, 10. I haven't had the opportunity to, to get it on a road where I could consistently really lay on it and, and, and give it gas and see what it does. There were a couple trips. It's too much to document and, and it makes these videos really long. I just wanted to provide a, a demonstration of what I'm doing. And if you look here, you can see all the times the RPM goes up and then cuts out, goes up and cuts out. This is not a roll on. This is this is the computer turning back on, is what these are. These arches that are here have nothing to do with the, the motorcycle. You can see it rolling on right here, turning on. And then dies. I'm going to pick up the wire for the uh, shovel head to, to allow it to, to work with this. Even though it wasn't my original intent, I, I mean, in investing another $5.00. To, to get this up to speed and uh, I'm going to order a second signal cable and I'm going to have a graph here it's going to show the VOES when the VOES is either on or off perhaps like a light here with VOES uh, that you can see that too that's going to be the the next function I'm going to add but I believe this one right here is the uh, the hill the big hill going up that you, people around here know Florida is not known for mountains. We happen to have one. There was a truck in front of me, though, so it kind of limited what I was able to do. We'll take a look. 
see what we got. We just got some nice straightaways here. Kind of shows you very, very, very uh, sensitive. Really picks up. Does a really good job. I mean, you can see the granularity of this here is, is really not all that important if you were to take an average over time. And that's some coasting right there. Coasting is very, very consistent, I found on this. That when I let off the gas and very high high vacuum, it the numbers are, are, are pretty solid. And this is giving it gas, and you see how it runs back to a rich condition until I let go, uh, somewhere around here, start to level out. But anything you see here that, that's sitting in the 13s is either no gas, which, which, which gets a little high, pegs it around 14 here and there, or, or very little, very little gas. You don't hear the engine under load at all. Most of the time when it's giving gas, when you could hear the engine uh, uh, working, you're looking at a le between 11 and 12 right there. The highway would be ideal. To test this out, I really don't see a need right now until I, I remedy this RPM situation because I wanted to get the GoPro in a window here, time to this, but I didn't charge the batteries, so we're gonna I'm gonna make my adjustments to the carburetor, and the next video I'm gonna do is also gonna have a GoPro video here running around the same time, hopefully to capture it, what we're seeing in in real time. And I believe that's up the hill right here, what we're seeing. And disregard this. They may, may have been at the crest. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead and see. Well right now I'll leave it alone. It, it seems very very consistent. I think this is the roll part the partial straightaway that we have. You can see it's really uh, 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 thinned out here. I mean, it, it looks like a lot of deviation, but but if you look where these numbers are, I mean, that's 13. You're moving uh, like a half a point in each direction, a quarter point in each direction. You finally see some, some consistency with regard to uh, the oxygen sensor. And and for an SNS S S S shorty E on a shovel head with drag pipes, we're really not going to see a, a, a straight line and it gave it gas and accelerated and let go. We see an event here as the RPM speed up. There it goes rich. Hit it again, goes rich, and then I let go. And then it evens out, it leans out a bit. And then I completely snap the throttle shut. Coast. So okay. I'm not gonna make everybody watch this entire movie. So we're gonna replace some jets. We're gonna research getting the RPM to work and we're gonna revisit this.